In this video, we'll learn how to install Heimdall data. If you want to install Heimdall on a Linux server, please consult another video. First, download the Heimdall demo 64-bit installer and start the installation process. Click Next, accept the license agreement, and click Typical, and then Install. What this will do is install Heimdall by default in C Program Files Heimdall, install the driver and server components, and also set up Heimdall to run as a service so it's easy to start and stop Heimdall. When the installation is done, click Finish, and you'll see two windows. You'll see the next steps on the website guiding you for things that you can do at this point, and now we're going to explore the Heimdall Data Console. This allows you to configure your data sources, your databases, and how you want to perform your caching and optimizations. After installation, there is already a virtual demo database working called dbdemo. There's several MySQL databases that are publicly accessible for you to try. What you can do is in the installation folder, you'll see the driver, the server jar, and you'll see a batch file to start some traffic. I'm gonna run that to start some traffic, and then it directed me to the Heimdall data console dashboard. Some traffic is running. We see the queries per second, we see the query time, the connections, and a variety of other information that we get by using Heimdall. What we can do at this point is click on the Analytics tab and get some information on what the most common queries are being executed. In this example, even with a small amount of time, we can see that these particular queries are highly cacheable and there would be a big benefit for us to do so. So deciding to cache them is as simple as clicking on the cache button. A rule is added that Heimdall will check whenever it sees a query. And in this case, whenever it sees a query on region, it'll cache it for a period of time. I will commit that out. So now the clients will see that updated configuration and now we could see, without changing anything in our client, we are now taking advantage of caching. We're doing more queries per second, and our response time has decreased as well. So this would work for any application. For your own application, run the driver for a period of time, do the analytics to take the rules that it suggests, commit those rules, and now you're getting increased performance from your application. So this has been a quick tour on how to set up Heimdall data, run the sample traffic, and to begin using the benefits of caching without changing your application. More details at heimdalldata.com.